Kelly Chan. My wonderful friend, how are you tonight? I'm good, my friend. I was tired too. I didn't want to do my hair, so I did my man bun for you. Oh, we love the man bun. I did a 1950s housewife flip for you. I'm living for every flip of it. Huh? Every Isn't flip it just flip flipping flip. adorable? It's and flip you're just all adorable. top knots. You're top <laughs> knot fantastic. <laughs> So I want you to tell us right off the bat, getting started before we do our timer, tell us five random things. I don't care what they are. It doesn't have to be, it could be anything, just five random things that you want us to know. Um, five random things. Okay, one, I am an actor by trade. Um, that's what I did before YouTube World. Um, uh, 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 two, uh, random things, random things, random things. Oh, random things. I'm very picky about coffee creamer. Like it has to go by the holiday. Like I'm okay. real, like don't put anything in my fridge unless it's holiday creamer. Like um, don't even put gingerbread in in the middle of June. Yeah, ever, ever. Don't if do it. Want, if you want to stay on my good side, um, cause coffee is my life. Uh, okay. Three. Um, three, I actually, my trade and school was nursing. Um, nice. All, all the entertainment stuff was nursing and did that okay. for many, many years. Um, four, um, I'm a diva just like my dog, if people haven't noticed that. So I don't know if that's random, um, but I think I created my monster of my dog in tutus. Um, <laughs> And five, five, five. Um, oh, I'm addicted to Chick fil A waffle fries. Ooh, waffle fries. I don't know if they have Chick fil A's all over from who watch us, but Chick fil A has the best. It's a southern fast food kind of place. It's really good. Mm -hmm. We had them in California, but we don't have them here in Iowa. Yeah. So. Let me tell you, Alicia, I was so nervous to do this because I'm like, how do you like stand up to Michael and his shower story from last week? Huh? <laughs> I mean, literally, how you don't do you stand up to that shower story. You bend over for that story. Facts. Facts. Them's the facts, friends. <laughs> I was about to say, hashtag facts. <laughs> So this is your interview. You don't have to uh, reach any level with anybody else. And it's like one of my favorite sayings, a flower does not compare itself to its neighbor. It simply blooms. So this is your time to bloom. Don't you worry at all. Amen. Don't you worry at all about that interview. This is your interview. You put your own spin on it. We're going to have fun. I'm ready. I am so ready. So this is a 10 minute country mama quickie. We're both hydrated. We're ready to go. You've got your hair pulled back. I do. <laughs> You're back. ready. Pew, pew, You're ready. Pew. Yes. Pew, pew. Okay. So okay. it is 937. We're going to go for 10 minutes of rapid fire questions. Are you ready? I'm ready. What is your favorite movie of all time? The Notebook. I'm such a girl. Oh, I love The Notebook. I love you so much more already. Three words to describe yourself. Um, not to cuss, but freaking hot mess. I love it. What is your favorite book? Okay, okay, this is where the I get parody. Okay, because all through like middle school and high school, I was a Harry Potter fan. So I have to say okay. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the first first book. I liked okay. all. Of them. The sorcerer's there are no wrong questions. There's no wrong answers. Well, everybody so, be like, Casey, Harry Potter? Ugh. No, no, don't you worry about that. What was your favorite childhood game? Favorite childhood game? <laughs> like board game or like any game? Any game. I'm um, armed to keep my dog quiet. I... I think I'd have to say, um, I don't know. We were the, me and my brother and my two cousins, we were all kind of raised as siblings and we were obsessed with life, the game life. Yes. 
you know, where you have, you to, have the like, little car and you could put pink pegs or blue pegs. Yeah, like you could get a, you know, a spouse and then children. And we were always yeah. like trying to get the job. And now that you're an adult, you're like. That game thing. lied to us. <laughs> right. <laughs> it lied. It lied. <laughs> What's the best piece of advice you were ever given? Hmm. Um, best piece of advice when I auditioned for my very first show that I did um, they said Casey you're too small and so I gained a little bit of weight went back to the audition and got the role which is what I was on for 17 episodes so that's how I got my girlish figure that I have oh. today so, are you allowed to say what that's what that show was yeah i was on teen wolf for about 17 what? episodes oh i'm gonna have well, to go back and look for that yeah i'm a bleach blonde hot mess yeah i will look for that everybody look for that uh pumpkin pie or apple pie apple pie apple pie what you know, i love Which both channel? you love both but apple pie it is apple pie it is what fictional family would you most like to join Hmm, that's a, that's a good question. It's deep. It is really deep. Cause there's, I'm, I'm on a toss up right now. Um, Pick the one I, on your left hand. Well, cause I don't remember their last name, but I remember the show that they were on. Okay. Um, and that was Downton Abbey. Yeah. Oh yes. What was that fan? And I'm talking the- The, 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 cr the Crawleys. The Crawleys. The Crawleys. There we go. I think. Anyways, yes, I know exactly Crawleys. who you're talking about. Because I love history and I love that kind of feel of um, the white this glove, the stuff. crystal, the, you know, I just love that stuff. So. Oh, yes. We love that show. The Crawleys. Crawleys. The Crawl What's the most adventurous mm -hmm. moment in your life? <laughs> um, most adventurous moment in my life. Um, this. I'm okay. very, I'm very boring off of camera. So this. Oh, stop. <laughs> stop. I don't think any of us believe that. No. I uh, actually... What was the, what was your favorite nickname that you've ever been given? <laughs> okay. So those who know me, my name is spelled C A Y C E, Casey. Weird spelling. You can thank my mother for that. Um, and through high school, I was called Gacy. So kids were really, really uh, creative. Oh, with, that's uh, creative. Yeah. And so when we did my reality show, everybody thought on the title thing because of the font that it said being Gacy, but it really did say being Casey. So that's the one I remember the most is Gacy. <laughs> if you were going to take me to lunch, where are we going? We're going to Longhorns. Even though I worked mm -hmm. there, I still crave their food eh? a lot. They have good rolls. You know, they have bread. They have, they have that bread. Nice bread. They have bread. They have bread. Okay. Um, We're going to talk chocolate. White milk or dark? Milk. Okay. Milk. What is your go to Monopoly playing piece and why? You know, I would probably, um, I would probably say the thimble. And here's why. The thimble, because it's round-ish. It's not, you can't easily push it over. Um, and I was really slow when we would play that game, so I was always left with that one, so. Oh. <laughs> My answer for it. You know, if a genie gave you one wish, what would it be? I, it's as Miss America as this sound. I would say world peace. Okay. Everybody just to chill out. Now I already know this one because we were talking earlier. What is your current guilty pleasure? And watch you change it up on me now. Well, I have a couple. I have a couple. Um, I love wine. A good amount. 
and that sounds terrible. My mom's gonna watch this and be like, Casey, you shouldn't say it like that. Um, but I, I am there, I like, um, I always wanted to be, um, uh, what are the wine people called? Oh, I know what you're talking about. I wanted to be one of thems. Um, because okay. I love, I love how they pair. It's cool how it tastes different with something different. Each wine tastes different. So guilty pleasure. I'm going to go with wine. Pew, pew. pew. I pew. thought you were going to say the Chick-fil-A waffle fries. We were just oh. talking about them. Well, I'm trying to slim down for the winter, Alicia. So <laughs> fast food or wine? Go with the wine. Go with the wine. wine. What is the strangest thing that you know way too much about? There's a long pause while he's thinking. You know, I would actually have to say wine on that one too. Okay, so maybe you are like Vision Acres as an aficionado. Oh, that sounds really fancy. Not fancy. If you could be any animal, what would you be? As your dog walks by and sticks his butt on the camera. All right, Destiny, it's my interview. <laughs> um, and I, you know, it's crazy to say this because you get the trolls on social media that say it all the time, but I'd love to be a pig, you know, because really, I mean, all they do is eat, sleep and like splash around in water. I mean, that pretty much sounds like a dream. They lay in the mud and, and, and lounge underneath the apple tree all day. And they don't have to shower and all that kind of stuff. So I'll say pig. <laughs> okay. If you could eat only one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Chick-fil-A waffle fries. I may have to switch it up on you again, Alicia, and <gasps> say chicken wings. Chicken wings. We're like addicted to chicken wings. No, I take it back. Pull that back. Back up the truck. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, back it all the way up. Chip salsa and cheese dip. You know, the little trio out of Mexico. Ooh, yes. Hands down. Drop the mic. What's the favorite thing you've done in the last 24 hours? And while you're thinking, I'm gonna tell everybody in the chat, I can't read the chat while I'm doing this rapid fire, so I'm not ignoring you. Favorite thing uh, you've done in the last 24 hours? I knitted a hat. Ooh, yes. very I'm trying good. to learn, I'm trying to learn. Awesome. What is a song that always gets stuck in your head? <laughs> um, <laughs> now it's not gonna be in my head. Um, I was actually I'm just watching, what I is it? Just watching the voice and it was on there and now I can't remember what that song is. Hold on, give me a second. And no, I probably will not sing it. Um Oh, Chris Stapleton uh, Tennessee Whiskey. Yeah? Oh. And how does that go? The sweet as Tennessee whiskey. Tennessee whiskey. So it's sweet. It's strawberry wine. wine. Strawberry wine's disgusting, y'all. If you haven't had it, it's like boons. It is. <laughs> and on that note, what is one thing you've tried that you'll never try again? Boons strawberry wine. I was about to say strawberry wine. <laughs> no, um, I'd probably try that again because it's wine. Um, that I would never try again. Nope, strawberry wine. Okay. Yeah. And last question, our 10 minutes is up. One more. If you were reborn, what decade would you want to be born in? Oh, definitely 1850s. Ooh, why the 1850s? That's a really interesting decade. I, I don't know. It's just the shows that I'm like really big into right now seem to be, and they're not new shows, but seem to be in like, 1800 to 1850s uh, um and i 1850s just popped in my head right off so, so are we talking like like pre-civil war shows what are you watching that put that in your head god oh my god let's see well, that one's not it well is it no it was no it wasn't <laughs> No, is is Ver Versailles eighteen the eighteen hundreds, right? Uh 
I think Versailles earlier than that, but I may be wrong. I started watching Versailles. I love it. So did I. Oh my god. I, I started it and then something happened and I didn't I didn't get past the first couple episodes. Have you ever seen the Tudors? No, but I've seen it on Netflix. Is that what I'm or I maybe where Tudor, I don't know where Tudors is on. We we had the uh the DVD series of Tudors. But I, I know I've Henry seen the eighth and Anne Boleyn. And I believe that was fifteen hundreds. See, I'm really addicted right now to Outlander. And I know that's not the 1850s. I know oh, that's- Oh, Outlander's so good, but it's so graphic. I can't watch it sometimes. See, um, that's my favorite parts. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, we know a little bit more about Kate's <laughs> don't we? Oh, I just love Jamie. I'm just like, oh my God. Who doesn't? I'm just like, hello. <laughs> hello, Jamie. I was about to say, oh, I'm married? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but no, it's, it's a good show. It's, but it's definitely not 1850s. I'm trying to think. Why did I say 1850s? Um, yeah, because Downton Abbey, which I got addicted to, is early 1900s. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going through my list. How far did you get in Downton Abbey? All the way through. Through All the, the way through. Everybody plug your ears. When when Matthew died, oh my God, I was heartbroken. Oh my God. Well, one, as an actor and somebody who's been in the production world, I'm like, okay, so he's either gotten another show that pays him more and they had to kill him off or the producers are stupid or he slept with one of the producers and they couldn't work together anymore. Or he That's, was just a diva. Um, yeah, there's I that. Mean, he's too, a He's but a pretty boy. Let me tell you, that's no reason to kill off that character. Because that was like a shock no. to all the fan base. Yeah, I mean, it did. Know, it was like I that watched that I watched that series with my granddaughter, and when that happened, she's like, Grandma, why did you do this to me? Why did you make me watch this? It was so sad. I think I cried like and I'd watched it. I've been in the um uh I'd watched it twice. I'd gone through it twice because I Two of my aunts are big Downton Abbey fans and they host these Downton Abbey parties before mm -hmm. cinnamon vanilla, as you called it, um, before all of that cinnamon vanilla lockdown happened. Yes. And so I was, they were like, oh, you should watch it. Watch, you know, watch uh, Downton Abbey. And I was like, okay, cool. So I, got, I started watching the first two episodes. I'm like, mm, don't like it. <laughs> Can't get into it. And I tried and just did it. And then I came back about six months later, and it was like, <laughs> I was Put it right here, mainline right it, here, right mainline here. it. And I would watch it. Okay, you know how you walk and you're like, okay, one more episode, just one more. And then you're like, oh, it's three o'clock in the morning. I have to work tomorrow. <laughs> I may want to go to bed. That was how the yes. second round was. So, it, and we were so disappointed when it ended. It's like, oh, can it go on forever? Well, um, spoiler alert: Have y'all not read that they're doing another movie? It's the best quickie. Pew pew pew. 